Hello and welcome back. This is a new concept here in this episode and we are going to simulate the Stanley Cup playoffs in NHL 24. We'll see what team EA Sports thinks will be lifting the cup here between these 16 teams. I got Dallas and Vegas. Of course Vegas has the controversy there with all the injured players on the injured reserve coming back just in time for playoffs like they always do. They weren't the first team to do it. Tampa Bay kind of started that trend. And now Vegas has kind of blown it out of the water. So they have a one nothing series lead against Dallas. And it'll be interesting to see how the rest of this first round goes. Boston, Toronto, the history. Toronto hasn't won in the round, a round versus Boston since 1959. That is crazy. Uh, Nashville, Vancouver, they've only played once in the playoffs on their run to the cup in 2011. So let's see if they can knock out Nashville. Washington and New York, they got quite a bit of playoff history. Dallas and Vegas. Vegas, definitely a newer team, but they have run into Dallas quite a bit. So there's some rival going on there as well. Edmonton, LA, they've played, uh, I want to say two, three times in the last five years in the playoffs. And then Winnipeg, Colorado, division rivals. That's going to be a bloody game. Speaking of bloody games, Tampa Bay and Florida. Florida, I think, could have the upper hand in that series. They are a team on the rise. Tampa Bay, they do have a talented roster, but I feel like they could be getting knocked out in round one. And then you got Carolina and New York Islanders. Carolina and New York, I think, is probably going to be the most easiest one to call. Carolina is definitely going to win round one on that. Florida, Tampa Bay, they could be the closest. But Washington is looking to play spoiler here. Boston is up 3-0 on Toronto. Edmonton's up 3-0 on LA. Looking for a sweep. And the first sweep of this series goes to the Edmonton Oilers. Four games to none. Boston gets the second sweep. Carolina's up three games to one. Vancouver, Nashville. That's two games apiece. Same as Colorado and Winnipeg. Ooh, Tampa's up three games to one on Florida. Washington and New York up 2 2. Rangers won two straight. Dallas and Vegas. I feel like whoever wins this one will win the series. Dallas does take it. So they're one game away from knocking out Vegas. Winnipeg, Colorado. And Winnipeg is up three games to two. Colorado looking to be knocked out in the round one again, second straight year. My goodness. Alright, bunch of game sixes here. Vegas and Dallas, is there going to be a game seven? No, and Dallas wins in six. How about Winnipeg and Colorado? Ooh, Winnipeg wins in game six. Vancouver wins in game six. So we have one game seven. We have two game sevens. How about another one? No, Washington wins in six. They win the first two, drop two, then they win the next two. Wow. And Carolina wins in seven. Definitely did not think it would go seven games, but here we are. Round two, people. Dallas and Winnipeg, Vancouver and Edmonton, Tampa, Boston, Carolina, and Washington. All right, looking at the stats. Barkov, Panthers are out, but he had a heck of a run. Svechnikov, eight points. Duclair. Tampa Bay had some depth scoring. A lot of guys getting stepping up. Ettinger just stole the series. Same as Stuart Skinner. Hellebuck, Demko just robbed that series. A 1.80 goals against, 940 save percentage. Man, it sucks he's hurting the playoffs right now for Vancouver. All right, Winnipeg takes game one versus Dallas. Vancouver takes game one versus Edmonton. Boston takes game one, and Carolina takes game one. All right, that one is tied up with Dallas and Winnipeg, same as Vancouver Edmonton. And Boston goes up 2-0, 6-0 in the playoffs. So far, the only one up 2-0 in round two. Dallas takes game three. Same as Edmonton. Oh man. 
Ooh, and Tampa Bay hands Boston their first loss. So we got a series here so far in round two. Ooh, doing a game five, tied at two. Dallas and Winnipeg, same as Vancouver and Edmonton. Tampa Bay and Boston, I feel like it's just a toppy chat of this sim right now. Game five's all around, and Winnipeg takes game five. Vancouver takes game five. One game away from the Western Conference Final, Boston takes game five. Carolina takes game five. Will Winnipeg advance? And yes, they do. So there's one team in the Western Conference Final out of Canada. And looking like a second after a game seven decider here. Carolina in game six and two game sevens in round two. And Edmonton knocks out the Canucks in game seven. And Boston knocks out Tampa. So Carolina, Boston, Winnipeg, and Edmonton. That is a interesting Final Four. And Kucherov, man oh man, the tear he's been on. And you got Marshawn McAvoy, Kyle Connor up there, Pasternak, Shifley, McDavid, 14 points in 11 games. Goalies, Skinner, he's been solid, Hellebuck. And you got Swayman, Anderson, Thatcher, Demko. Man oh man. Goalie stats are nuts here in the playoffs. Alright, which Canadian team is going to represent Canada? Edmonton's up 1-0. Boston and Carolina. Carolina takes that one. Game 2 goes to Edmonton. And Game 2 goes to Carolina. Are we going to have a repeat of the 06 Cup? Game 3, Carolina's up 3-0. One game away from the finals. Winnipeg just tied it up back at 2. And Carolina sweeps the Eastern Conference Final. The Bruins. Oh man, the heartache for Boston here. Edmonton goes up after a Game 5 win. And they win it in Game 6. So we do have a rematch of the 2006 Stanley Cup. Edmonton looking for revenge. And Carolina looking for their second Stanley Cup in franchise history. Against the Oilers once again. You got David Svechnikov up there. Sebastian Aho. No one else for the Oilers really besides McDavid. He's kind of doing it himself. But Stuart Stinner. He outperformed Hellebuck. And he's the top goalie in the playoffs right now. And I mean everyone knew he had potential. It's just a matter of time if he was going to show it. So game one goes to Carolina. Game two... One game apiece. Alright. Carolina takes game three. And they take game four. They're one game away from their second Stanley Cup in franchise history. And we're going to simulate this one to see how this goes. Alright, here we are. Come on, who's feeling it? Ooh, Kuznetsov. Back from his winter slumber. And out of rehab. Ryan Nugent Hopkins for Edmonton. 1-1 one, one going to third. Jake Gensel. Trade deadline acquisition. Pays up huge for Carolina here. Trying to add on to their lead. Can't get it done. But Martin Nietzsche does. The young centerman. 2 goal lead. Edmonton trying to get back. But they have a tall task here. And we will let commentary take things away, people. Enjoy. in the building it is all polished 
stuck and out of the case. And you can see the anticipation as everyone is looking on as the childhood dream comes alive. The net is empty. A big draw here looming inside the offensive end. The Conn Smythe winner's turn to get the cup. <laughs> no one's more deserving than him. I mean, he was unbelievable. I mean, the offensive production, everything that he did to contribute. Now, that's an individual award, the Conn Smythe Trophy. Now he always the cup. I don't even know if you can script it any better, James. Wasn't he, James? I mean, you can't win without solid goaltending, and he was the backbone of this team. He deserves it, and he hoists it, and you can see the smile on his face. You know, for some routines, Cheryl, you say it's all that. I don't think winning the Stanley Cup multiple times ever gets tiresome. Oh, it can't be, James. And, and it's no fluke, right? You know that he plays in the regular season, how difficult it is to make the playoffs. And then to be able to go round after round, I'm telling you, he's seasoned, and that lends right through the dressing room. The celebration continues, and they're all converging at center ice for the team pick. And hard to believe that so many of them are banged up. Hey, James, at the arduous process of getting to the Stanley Cup final, but that's why they're all in one heap, showing the pure elation of the moment. an interesting sim here carolina takes the stanley cup in 2024 well we enjoyed this making this everyone but if you want to see more of it let us know down below and we'll do another sim but until next time we will see you in our franchise series signing off everybody and hope you enjoy some nhl playoff action in real life bye for now peace